At ease. It's your boy Solar Mortal. First off, let me say Happy Father's Day, guys. Happy Father's Day to even you future fathers. A lot of times, uh, people don't understand how you know the challenges we face as fathers. So, uh, you know, when this day comes, we need to tip our hats at each other. You know what I mean? Brothers, I have I have a number of tenants that I live by, and and I'm telling you, my life became so much easier. In other words. I began to, you know, have the ability to stay on my purpose much easier. I began to find my peace much easier just by following these tenets, right? And in the back of my mind, I think that that these tenets, you know, should be followed by every man, or should or should or should be, you know, sought after by every man. You know what I'm saying? And, and today, brothers, I just want to share a couple of them with you. So let's talk about it. Is it not written in your law that ye are God? You understand what I'm saying? So it just depends on what level you own based on, uh, or what level you own based on uh, whether you're human or whether you're immortal. So the first tenet is that every man should find freedom. Now, now I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about, you know, free yourself, you know, from your job or free yourself, uh, uh, in, you know, financially. I'm not talking about that kind of freedom. I'm talking about, I'm talking about a freedom that goes much deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Because the first thing you have to understand is that, is that from birth to where most of us are right now, we have to understand that several chains have been put on us. You know what I'm saying? We don't call them change. Uh, chains, but several chains have been put on us, right? Think about your religion. Think about think about the political party that you support, right? Think about even just your mindset, the person that you are today. You didn't choose any of that stuff. Th that was not your decision. Think about your religion. I didn't sign up to be no Christian. You know, that, that's what was given to me at birth. You know, you know, I didn't sign up to, you know, you know, eat flesh and drink the blood of the prophets. That that was a theology that 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 my, my father and my parents gave me. You know what I'm saying? And I asked myself, what would I be like if I had if I had no teachings? In other words, if I grew up in the woods and just eventually found society, like who would I be? That's the type of freedom I'm talking about. Think about your political party. You know, some of y'all are just diehard Democrats, diehard Republicans or independents or whatever the other little smaller groups are y'all are y'all or die hard this stuff and I ask myself I say I wonder if the people you know that are on the streets during these political rallies or whatever you know th these people that are spitting on each other kicking each other ca calling each other names uh, across the fence of Democrat and Republican I said I wonder if these people know that that both opponents, you know, are, are meeting in banquets after this and having seven course meals and drinking wine and laughing uh, about stuff, you know, that they're all thinking coming from the same mind, that it's all the same pot. I'm like, I wonder if people people understand this, you know, so I'm talking about freedom from that. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a mindset freedom. You know, man, I'm telling you. I, I am so thankful, man, that my mother and my father, man, they taught me some valuable lessons in life. Valuable lesson. But the thing I have to ask myself is, like, like the way that I think now, it is due to that. You know, good or bad. Some people get it good, some people get it, get the bad the end of the stick. I got the good end of the stick when it comes to that. But still, I have to ask myself, who would I be if I didn't have that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like who am I without all the access? I'm talking about that kind of freedom. I'm telling you, every man should find that freedom. Because I'm telling you, you, you think you found peace. You, you think you found happiness. If you can't really call it your own, but I'm telling you, there's another level to it, man. There's a whole nother level. And when you talk about that kind of freedom, brother, no, no paycheck, no salary, no, no, no woman coming into your life. No woman can compare to that. Man, I want every man to, I hope that every man one day finds that. And the thing is, you know, a man has to just, just go on his path. He had, at some point, every man must leave that which, would he, which he was taught 
to find himself. Now, if a man leaves that and wants to come back and, and participate, then that's another thing. He's seen that freedom. I don't see too many brothers coming back, but if a man chooses to, you know, you know, practice a certain religion, just, just make sure that it's a practice and not a part of who you are, you know. But some people go out there and come back, you know, but you must go on that path, brothers. That's one of my tenets. You know, I know we talk about uh, 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 men going their own way, you know, that whole that whole movement. And I know I saw a couple brothers comment, comment on my last video uh, talking about, uh, and I didn't know how to take it. They were saying, like, we were going, you know, men were going in circles. I guess it was based on my topic, right? But you have, you have different types of men, right, when it comes to, you know, brothers going their own way. You know, you have some men that go their own way and they live their lives as as sojourners you know they're, they're conquering their world you know solo and then you have some men that are kind of just soaking issues and seek understanding like 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 i know things are bad i know things are a certain way but i want to understand why i want to know the nuts and bolts of this and see where we went wrong and how to correct it i happen to be a hybrid you know what i'm saying i happen to be a portion of both of those brothers i remember when i said when i first realized that you know, man, this world ain't what we think we think it is, right? I remember going my own way. And I remember I remember finding my peace, finding my happiness, getting the bag, you know. I, I put myself in position first, right? And, and then I circled back around like the brothers said, you know, circled back around and, and looked at my life. I looked, I looked at everything, you know, to include uh, what I was talking about in the last video, uh, the relationship with women. And what I understand now, man, is that, like you say, you have some guys that are sojourners, some guys that, that, are, that are problem solvers. But then you got a third group of guys that, that are complainers, man. And, and, and when it comes to fine, you know, we, we have to correct that mindset, man. Men, I'm telling you, and I've said this before, that, that is a feminine trait to be, to be a complainer. It seems like either you decide to just, just go your own way and leave all that behind or, or, or repair it. But don't sit in the corner and whine about it, man. Don't sit in the corner and whine about it, but, you know, anyway, I'm getting off topic. Freedom. I think every man should find freedom because I'm telling you, brothers, you haven't, you haven't really experienced life if you, have, if, you have, if you haven't felt that freedom, man. So I think that every man should free himself. The second tenet, guys, the second tenet is, is, is fatherhood. Now, now, this is strictly for the guys that have chosen to have children, right? I mean... You know, some guys live their lives and no one don't have any kids. And I think that's, I mean, that's cool. That's fair. That's whatever, you know. But there are a number of brothers that have children, right? Now, I'm going to keep it 1,000. I've wanted to talk about this subject before, but I pulled back to talk about some other things. But I see no greater time, man, than to talk about this, you know, on Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? But because, and I'm telling you, this is a very, very touchy subject, and I'll tell you why. Because, because over the last, I'll just say 20 years, you know, no, 20 plus years, I, I've dated a number of women, right? I've dated a number of women. I've dated a number of women that have children, that have a child, you know. And, and, and one thing I've noticed, and I may have mentioned this before, one thing I've noticed is that the ratio... Of, of of these women that I've dated that, that have a child, the ratio of the fathers that were still in that child's life was 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 skewed way in the wrong direction, brothers. I'm telling you, the, the numbers, you know, I can count on I I'm telling you, out of all the women I've dated that had a child, I can easily say, man, that only one or two uh uh I saw activity in that child's life. And brother, that's a major problem. Now, the reason I say it's touchy is because, you know, I, I look at my numbers, right? I look, I look at, you know, my followers, right? I said, okay, I got like 50,000 subs on, on, on YouTube, right? On this channel. And I said, okay, man, well, 11% are women. I do the man. That's okay. So this chunk of numbers uh, 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 is the number of brothers that are following me. I say a huge chunk of you brothers have to be part of, of this of this 90% deficit in, in, in fathers that are present in their child's life. I say, you know what? Some of these brothers have to be. You know what I'm saying? But today, guys, we have to talk about it. But because this is a bad thing, we have to talk about this. A lot of us are, are dropping the ball as being, you know, as far as being fathers. Now let me say this. 
I, I know that there's a stigma that, you know, this whole deadbeat dad stigma that goes around. I'm going to tell you right now, that's BS. That whole that the majority of men are are are, are uh, uh, deadbeat fathers, that that's a that's that's propaganda, because all the brothers that I know, every single brother that I know that has a child, is playing a hundred percent part in that child's life, is doing the most he can, is active in that child's life. So that whole deadbeat dad dad theory, is it, it, is is not is not true. But I'm telling you, there there is a start a still a large amount of people. A lot, a lot of uh, uh, kids that don't have a father in their life, right? So let me just say this. You know, you have to understand that I've seen both sides of the fence of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the reason why the reason why this is such a, a, a delicate topic to me is because I've seen both sides of the fence. In other words, between between one years old and, and 13 years, 12, 13 years old, I had an active father in my life. I'm talking about coming to all my games, putting me in all these, you know, swimming lessons and baseball teams and all that stuff and birthdays and, you know, solid Christmases. I had that for 13 years, right? And then when my father passed, so from 13 to, you know, 20, 21, I, ha I had the opposite. You know, y'all had some great men and great leaders in my life, but I didn't have my father there. So I I've seen both sides. And the fact that I've seen both sides, I clearly understand how critical it is. Brothers, I'm telling you, to have a father in your life is, is, is paramount. It's paramount, brothers. And the thing is, a, a lot of brothers, a lot of brothers are looking, you know, are, are just looking at the limitate, you know, or looking at, they're just not looking at it right. For example, you know, you have some guys that say, oh, well, you know, I can't, you know, I can't go see my, 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 my kid every day. I can't go see my son because he... He three or four hours away. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't. But at the same time, these brothers are rocking Gucci belts. Th th these brothers are Balenciagas. It's like, brother, well, if you can spend that money there, then brother, I'm telling you, you ain't got to drive four hours every weekend. Catch, catch you a flight. Catch you a quick flight for the price of you doing all this stuff. You, you go to the strip club, you throwing 100s left and right. But, but when it comes time to, to taking care of your kid, man, you, you, you find limitations, man. It comes down to priorities, guys. It's simply priorities. And we as men, it, that has to be one of our tenets. That if we're going to have a child, brother, we have to be all in. That's why it's so critical. That's why, you know, y'all brothers talk about, you know, knocking all these women down. Brothers, if you're not willing to have a child with a woman, even if you're just having a little fling, if she ends up getting pregnant and you, in, I'm telling you, brother, you have to take that stuff serious, man. You have to take that stuff serious. If you're not gonna be, if you're not gonna be in 100%, don't even mess around. And see, this, this is the thing, man. A, a lot of brothers say, you know what, man, you know, talk about they don't, they don't want to take care of their child financially because they talk about the cost. I'm gonna tell you this, brothers. Yeah, we like to do nice things for our kids, and, and, and you know, but I'm gonna tell you this, and this is what I learned, you know, some years ago, back when my son was little. All you have to really do to all you, all you really have to do to give a, uh, give a child some kind of happiness and let you know it's important is give them time. Give them time. Give, give them that, that, that visual support of you being there. I'm going to tell you this, bro. Keep it 100. I remember when my son was like three, four. You know, me, me and his mother just got divorced, right? I remember every, every time I picked him up, which is every week, you know, I took him to, uh, we would go to Chuck E. Cheese, little pizza joint, man. We go to Chuck E. Cheese, play the game, you know, then I, then I take them back home, right? I knew exactly how much that was. It cost $26 and some change to get, you know, all the games you want to play, get a large pizza, large drink. You know what I'm saying? It cost $26, right? I remember that came a point in time, man, when I was down and out. And I didn't have, I didn't have $26 to take them to Chuck E. Cheese, man. I, mean, I was paying bills. I had to get gas to get there to go see him. I was like, bring up. What I did, man, I went and spent $3.99, $4.99 on a little cheap rubber football. I took him to a football field. I, I, I placed some sticks down, man. We, we ran through cones and threw football for a couple hours. And I'm telling you, man, he was 10 times happier than Chuck E. Cheese. So a lot of you guys, man, are you are using financial, are you are using distance as, as an excuse to take care of your kids, man. I'm telling you. Overall, we have to do better than that, man. So, so fatherhood. Fatherhood is a major tenet. And again, brothers, I'm telling you, I'm only talking about this because I've seen both sides of the fence. You know, most of the time when, when people grow up and they have a father their whole life, the whole life, 
or or you have people that, that grow up without a father, you know, they feel some kind of way about it, but they don't truly understand because they can't identify with the other side. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, it's paramount, it's crucial that, that you participate in your, in your kid's life, man. You know, you know, we can go down that, uh, you know, uh, you know, a lot deeper, but, but that's one of my, that's one, that's my second tenant, right? Now, my third tenant is, you know, we as men, something we've lost, man, we, we, we've lost, we've lost something that the previous generations had before us. We've lost the, the willingness to die for a cause, right? Now, I'm telling you, this, this, we all know that this world is, is vibrating very low right now, man. It's, it's, like, it's like we're vibrating low. You know, the things that are taking place that we call normal now, if a person went in a coma, if a person went into a coma 30 years ago and woke up today, they wouldn't even believe they were on the same planet. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't even think they were on the planet Earth. Things have gotten so crazy. But the thing is, we don't understand it because we've been in it. You know, we, we've been that frog in, in that slow boiling water, man. We have no idea. But when, when you separate yourself from the way this world, you know, separate yourself from this world, you can see it for what it is. And I'm telling you, men nowadays, they aren't willing to die for anything. And, and when you look at it, man, all types of madness uh, is taking place and I could go in on that man but I gotta watch what I say when I talk about those topics because because of of you know how this world works you know but th there are certain things that are taking place that we see on the news that that are, that are pushed undercover you know you know you got you got people missing you got you know uh, uh men things that are mandated that shouldn't be mandated and it's like the only reason this stuff flies is because we as men aren't you know we aren't willing to die like brothers in the past. You know what I'm saying? I mean, think about it. Think about the old photos we used to see. You know, they, they sicking dogs on people. They got water hoses. They're not bringing that stuff out if everybody's out there complying. If, if we out there just marching, you know what I'm saying? Smiling, marching, singing, singing Negro spirituals. Nobody's hitting us with water hoses. We, 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 have to, we would have to be a group of men that are saying, you know what? We ain't putting up with this. Like, like something's got to change or, 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 or we're about to have some fits. That's when all that stuff comes out. So you got to understand, if we don't see that as much today, that must mean that, that we've lost something. And the way that this world is getting out of control, I'm telling you, brother, is because we as men with principles, we aren't, uh, we aren't willing to die, man. We aren't willing to die, man. I'm telling you, brother. Every man, this, this is one of my tenets, every man should have some things about himself, some things he believes in, some things he's concerned about, that, that, that when push comes to shove, he's willing to die. He's willing to die behind it. That's part of being a man. And I'm telling you, brother, that that's something, like I say, that's something we've just lost as men. We have to be willing to die for something. But the thing is, the thing is, the reason why we aren't those men anymore is because we've allowed this, this world to, to cloud our minds, right? There was a commercial, uh, not a commercial, that was part of a movie, and I'm sure all of y'all have seen it, man. It's from an old movie, like from the 70s. And they're like broadcasting in some, some studio, and a guy comes out, and he's just dogging everybody, man. He's just like pretty much saying, y'all asleep. Like, like y'all are in the mindset of, you know, give me my television, give me my cable, give me my, you know, my 401k, and, and, and I'll act as if I don't see the things that are going on in this world. You know what I'm saying? That's where we are as a people. So that, you know, when you see men, when you see men stepping out saying a certain thing and it seems radical or whatever, it, it's because it's not the norm now. You know what I'm saying? We must become men that are, that are you know, that are willing to die for something, man. So, you know, I have a number of tenants, man, but, but those are just three. But at the end of the day, guys, you, you simply have to just understand that, you know, we talked about this uh, the last few few weeks, man. Masculinity, being a man, it's, it's, it's under attack. It's been under attack. It's nothing new. 
what we have to do, guys, is separate ourselves individually. I'm telling you, we, we have to find that freedom. You know what I'm saying? If we if we have if we have kids, we have to we have to nurture and guide those kids in the right direction. We have to be willing to die for something to, to get this world back right. Because because if we don't, brothers, it'll never happen.